Hey everybody, we live. Welcome back. We live. DJ Art Show Inking Tutorial Episode Two. Quit saying we live. We ain't live. We well. We're alive. <laughs> Close enough. Dude, All right, guys. Dude. I did some stuff off camera from the last time. Um, Just like the same stuff. All I did doing. was, yeah, all I did was continue doing the outline and the random stuff that I wanted to get done. So as you can see, I did the outline of the ears. Uh, with the, I still was using the point five in case anyone's following along with their own art pens, I guess. I guess people like to kind of do that, point five. Um, I did this little V neck thing, you. and I did the knife blade with the handle and the little outline of the hand, as you can see. Just the outline. You'll notice the positive space, still pencil. That's kind of what I meant about that when I was saying that last episode, and I didn't really feel like I conveyed it that well. Anyways, so, what were you going to say? It'd be funny if someone sent you a picture and be like, hey, I followed your tutorial, but I used a uh, fat tip Sharpie for the whole thing. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, and then I'm just like, wow. Fuck you should you. be doing this show. Yeah, you should be fucking. We're quitting. Yeah, we'll give you our fucking YouTube channel. Um, so really. yeah, without further ado, let's get back into it, shall we? I'm wearing a Goomba on my hat. The next thing I want to show is how you can convey light sources with line weights. And I'm <laughs> going to do that with her earrings. As you can see, i got these little ball earrings here. Oh, those are balls? I guess. I thought they were hoops. No, nah, like orbs. I so, they hoops. So, it's important I when... that b-ball. It's important Basketball. when... It's important when. Are you done? It's important when. <laughs> it's important when you Throwing those hoops. start a drawing <laughs> that you choose a light source, which is the direction the light, or at least most of the light, is coming from. That helps you with shading and stuff, as I'm sure some of you have probably heard. But it can also help with line weights. I'm not really doing it on this one, but I'm going to show you how you can do how you can convey a light source. Coming from a certain direction. Just on an article of her clothing. You can do it on her with, necklace too. I can do it on her necklace. With um, line weights. And the so balls I'll, of her. I'll demonstrate. Piercing her eyebrows. Yeah, I can do that too. Yeah. And her tongue. Yeah, well the tongue piercing wouldn't yeah, really that glint one. that far. So, let's say you have a... Yeah, ride them cowboy. Let's say your light source is coming from the upper right hand corner. Okay? Whatever it is, a lamp, a This the person sun. looks like they really fucked up their eyebrows. What? Because <laughs> it kinda looks like eyebrows. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm done. <laughs> okay, so let's say the light source is coming from the upper right hand corner. And let's say you have a sphere. Now, with line weights, you can convey that there's a light source coming from a direction, I guess. So I'm going to start with this sphere. I don't know how like good this circle is going to be, but since the light source is coming from the upper right, you'll have the uh -oh. line weight heaviest on the lower left, so the side of the sphere that is not facing the light. And as you get closer to the side of the sphere that would be facing the light, you go lighter with the line weights. And I didn't really do it that well. But eventually until you taper off, that doesn't really work, but okay. I don't know why I'm so terrible. We're gonna try that again. So, failed attempt, I come down here Heavy line weight, once again, light source is coming from the same direction. Heavy line weight on the side of the sphere that is opposite the light, or at least the main source of light. And then as you get closer to the light source, you're going to taper 
off with you're going to gradually lighten the load of your line weight share the load exactly Derek I was honestly thinking of Lord of the Rings too That's as funny. you can see you can kind of that looks like dog shit but you can kind of see how like the the side you sort of convey that light is touching it when the line weight is less I get what you mean like if you shine a light on a perfectly round metal ball yes you can sort of convey you'll convey it more with shading later on slash coloring but you can convey it a little bit with line weights like that as you can see that just tries to suggest you're trying to suggest that light is reflecting off Derek's making weird velociraptor noises <laughs> is reflecting off of this side of the sphere I had a steely in here. I don't know where it went. I was going to show like a perfect example of what you were doing. I like a little steely ball. Um, well, and I, I imitated it. the noise of the chair and I was like... I'm going to try and imitate it with the... Uh, that kind of sounded like a clicker from fucking Last of Us. Alright, so for this one we're also going to have the light source coming from the upper right hand corner. So let's keep... The, so keep just keep that in mind. So I'm going to come in. And I'm using the point one right now. And I'm going to go in pretty heavy with the line weight here on the lower left hand part of the <gasps> earring. I was going to say, are you excited for Last of Us Part 2? But you have an Xbox, not a PS4. Not that it's going to come out on the PS4, but... That and I don't really play as much video games these days. But just that it's so good. No. I know it's good. Oh. So similar to what we were doing Did in our hear that? Farted. Similar to what we were doing in our example area earlier. I'll lighten up the line weights as I get closer to where the light source would be. And I fucked up the line right here. But hopefully you guys get the idea. That'll actually help me a little bit because I can darken up the line weight here. Dude, the first intro to Bleach the, for the first season. goddamn hair strand is in the fucking frame. It's okay. Okay, so. Matches her hair strand. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Justin, do you see yourself in your characters? No. A little piece of yourself? No. You don't think you're a sexy demon lady? No, 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 no. So as you can see here, the light source is coming from the upper right-hand corner as we established. So the line weight is heavier. As I've said, I'm just going to reiterate, on the side of the sphere opposite the light source so hopefully that sort of you get the idea sort of conveys a light source now since the other earring is on the other side of her head and so the head is going to be blocking a lot more of the light there won't be we won't suggest a light source with the line weights as much mm -hmm. Justin has a fat ass. What the fuck? Justin's thick. I have trouble with... Like, when it comes to inking, I have trouble with round objects and really long, straight lines and or curving lines. Like, this knife blade is really fucking annoying. Things like that knife blade is annoying for me to ink. Justin's thick like I have pancakes. Thick like this heavy line weight. Yeah, he's thick like them line weights. They thick with two C's. Double C. Justin, you need to draw more butts. Do I? You don't draw enough butts. Do I? Actually, do you ever draw butts? I've drawn one. One? Yeah. Is it on your Instagram? Yep. Let me see how far back it is. Uh, is it Pixie Bob? Yeah. Actually, I don't remember. I, Instagram might have fucked me over on the cropping. Yeah, you can't really see your butt. The original, Nipples. The original drawing, you can see it. All right.
right, so those are the earrings. So as you can see, on the side where the light wouldn't hit as much because her head's blocking it, I've just done a relatively uniform line way all the way around the earring. And over here I've suggested, yeah, you know, a little light there. Yeah, I see it. I can get what you mean. going in there? All right, so now we're gonna get down to. Oh, did you draw that froggy chick's butt? Mm, no. Oh. Um. We're gonna get down to the facial details finally. I'm gonna start with the eye. And what I like to do with the eye, with um, normally things I draw, is I'll just do the outline of the eyelashes. I won't fill it in yet. And obviously you don't have to do this. I don't know, honestly. I think it might just be because I'm a neat freak. As you can see, I'm doing... Creating the shape of the eyelashes first, rather than just going straight in. And these are going to be eyelashes, wrinkles in the face, are going to be some of your lightest line weights, or at least when I'm doing it, they're mine. <coughs> what? I was reading an article about how apparently local cops are looking for a guy, and they said his light weight made him able to run across um, frozen snow. Wow. Yeah, I... <laughs> That's hilarious. That is, in other words, the cop chasing him was probably too fat to catch him. Not that I have too much room to talk, I'm fat, but just say he's in better shape than the cops. Not that his 120 pound mass made him able to skate across the ice like a goddamn gazelle. Well, you know what, maybe it did. <laughs> it didn't! You don't know that, you were fucking there! Unless he has giant feet, he, that is not what happened. Okay, so... With her eye, on the lower eyelash, I'm going to keep it thin towards the inner part of her eye, the inner tear duct, because I would imagine that they're, when normally when I draw ladies like this, I keep the makeup light on the bottom eyelid, lighter than the top, and I, which I mean, you have more eyelashes on the top eyelid than you do on the lower eyelid, so that's of course going to happen. But I also tend to make it so that there's less makeup towards the inner part of the eye on the bottom near the tear duct which I'm pretty sure is also goes without saying but I'm just gonna mention that as I'm doing it so if you have a problem with that hmm. take it outside Not oh they're talking to me I was like what are the problem fuck you no all right so now that we have outlined the eyelashes. I'm gonna go in with a heavier line weight. Just so you know, this whole time I've been using the point one. I don't remember if I mentioned it or not. I'm gonna go in with a heavier pen, or thicker tip, less fine tip. I'm gonna go in with the point three, and I'm going to fill in her eyelash black. No, no, how dumb I am. have wanted to do is have your pen. What? How dumb are you? I thought S X S W. I was like, I have no idea what that is. Mm -hmm. It's been everywhere. It's South by Southwest. What the? It's like, I don't know what it is actually because I've been showing a bunch of movies there. And as you can see, I'm kind of deliberately avoiding filling in the eyelashes for the moment because I don't. I'm a little apprehensive about going in. With such a heavy pen. Yeah. Or thick. So we're just doing the main body of the eyelashes. Hey, is it going with that fine tip? Yes. That was, that was my nickname in high school. Fine tip. Justin's was brush tip. Mine was fine tip. Yeah, of course it was. <laughs> of course it was, there. <laughs> Hopefully no one from high school comments, Your name was not fine tip. Your name. Your name was Ballsack, and you know it. Ballsack. No one called. The most uncreative. No, my only nickname was my only horrible nickname was for my cousin, and it was Bruce Valanche. 
Oh my god, I forgot about that. Because I had long hair and I wore red framed glasses. But I was a 14 year old boy and not 400, not a 400 pound 50 year old man. Oh my god, yeah, that's terrible. As you, you can see, I just kind of nutted up and. You did it! Went in with the .3 on the eyelashes. Look at you go. Are you going to color any part of her red? I don't know if that's a club or spade. I haven't decided yet. I feel like her, underneath her eye, that drippy should be red. Drippy? The line. I don't know. I don't know what it is either. I just put it in there. And then, this, I know the spade that spades aren't red, but you make well, spade red. We have the eyelashes filled in. Mm-hmm. They're beautiful. Thank you. Maybe you could make the Now I'm going to go in. We're going to do the iris and the pupil with a super fine tip pen pupil. The smallest. 0.05. I'm going to go in. If you flip it upside down, it's 20.0. Yes. <laughs> I have her looking down at us, so... She's looking down at those titties. I don't know why she would be looking down at her own titties, but sure. Well, they're impressive. Good for her. Yeah. Because I bet she has back... Actually, she's a demon. She don't have back problems. Yeah, she can... Those aren't even mammaries. They're just they're fucking just, muscles. She can destroy a building with one punch. That's what I'm imagining. There. So I did the outer edge of the iris there. She's one of those girls who can smash like a beer can with her titty. And since... I'm going to go in here and suggest a shadow being cast over the iris by her lower eyelid. I or, see it. I see that. Go. And I gave her a slit pupil. <laughs> what? Uh, I tried to go with something clever when you after you said slit. And I was right. like, I fill in the pupil also. <laughs> Justin, this is okay. This is a lie. This drawing was actually twice as long, but Justin cut off the bottom half for later. Wink, wink. What? And I'm also going to use... Like you the, drew her bottom naked. Spank bank. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't be any comedy in here. I'm sorry, well, I'm, folks. I'm trying to fucking focus. Okay. Folks in five. I mean, you also... That's spank bank. Also going to use the point oh five to do the eyelid crease. For that, for that upper double lid action. Double lid? That's what a double lid's called. That's like what girls in Japan try to get. They try to get that defiant line to show like a double lid. Is that what girls in Japan do? Yeah, there's like beauty hack products for it. Because sure it's considered like beautiful in Western culture. And it's funny because like beauty switches like east to west because... I'm also going to go in and do some like little mini wrinkles on the lower eyelid to convey that there's that, also folds there. And you yeah. do very light ones though. Did you not know that? What? The chicks, like, in Eastern cultures want the double lid because it's known as more attractive in America. I did not know that. I don't know why. Yeah, they, like, have these little things where they, like, they kind of like those flossing picks. And they, like, put them on their eyelids and, it, like, pushes their eye and, like, gives, like, a wrinkle for the day. Wow. I did not know that, actually. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, all Western women want is alabaster skin. So as you can see, I just gave, kidding. I gave her eyebrow piercing as well. Yeah, I see it. And I'm gonna do that with the point oh five as well. And I'm yeah, gonna do I the same. Do I'm gonna do a similar thing that I did here with the earring and suggest the light source on these little tiny those little ball bearings, little tiny steel balls. <laughs> Harder to tell with the small ones, but. Ooh, child, things are gonna be easier. And um, I'm also going to do the eyebrow with the .05. A lot of the facial details I just do with the point, with the smallest possible, finest possible pen, tip pen. The so eyebrows. As you saw, the eye details, uh, the eyelid crease, uh, the nostrils, 
I also like to do any scars. This isn't really a scar. More like war paint, I guess you could say. I like to do any scars and any sort of tattoos or uh, paint in the point five in the as possible one. Yeah, there's that weird little eye dingle. I'm gonna go in and we're gonna do nostrils. What it where? Where where? What it where? Where where? What it where? What the what the boop? Can your friend do this? We're gonna sort of suggest the bridge of her nose there. Not gonna go super defined. Can your friend do that? And then we'll use a thicker pen to do the outline of her mouth. Can your friends pull this? What are you talking about? At the little hack. Can your friends go poo? And is it really gonna be the last pen that I fucking pick up? On hey, point looky three? here. He's point three. I'm singing friend like me because it's stuck in my head because I watched da, da, na, da, na, the Aladdin na, trailer like oh yeah six times because this one was much better than Will Smith's goofy face plaster on that genie. <laughs> so this looks like a Snapchat filter. A Snapchat filter. Yes, and then the new one I was like, okay, it's much better, and. Hopefully no stupid theories come out like, It's based 10,000 years in the future, but the genie, that's why you can go back in time and get goofy memorabilia from Disneyland, when in reality, he's a fucking genie, probably has no reality of space and time. Who gives a shit? I hate those theories. Uh, I, li I prefer those to the fan theories where it's like, they're all actually dead. Like in... Like that Rugrats one? Like the Rugrats one where like Phil and Lil are aborted. Like it, Angela... It's Angelica is actually 30 years old in a mental hospital because she went insane after she got raped. Or some... Yeah, see, I, I that one's actually like one where it's like her dad molests her and she imagines all the babies as an escape. And I'm like... Jesus! <laughs> what the fuck? You can't just be babies on adventures, you fucking weirdos. Yeah, it's a cartoon. They can't just be fucking talking babies. So, I've done the outline of the mouth here. And... The mouth. Mm. Mouth. I'm going to go in and mm. use the same pen for the teeth. I'm going to do that webbing thing that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, on the neck there, by the jaw. Where the... To sort of convey that the lip is overlapping the tooth. Yeah. This thing kind of looks like Susie God. at Mortimer. Motherfucker. Yeah, that's kind of, kind of, yeah. I just, I don't know, I get that vibe from it. Heavier line weights towards the base of the canine tooth and taper out because it's a short point. God, now I'm trying to think of other stupid conspiracy theories about kid shows. Most of them are... Like Spongebob's like a nuclear testing mean facility. Fan, you mean fan theories? Yeah. Well, they're, they're conspiracies still. Well, I mean, I don't think anybody legitimately believes. Some people do. Some people are legit like, that's canon. Ah, uh, that's fucking stupid. Or, God, what was the other one? And obviously, real... I've given her two sets of canines here. On the lower jaw. She's a demon. Yeah, that's why. Is it D-A-E-M-O-N? Or is it D-E-M-O-N? Oh, I don't know. Is it demon? What the difference is? I don't either. I don't think there is one. You know what I'm stoked for? Yeah, but you don't care because you don't watch TV. What? The Lord of the Rings show. They actually announced when the timeline's going to be. When is it? It's based during the Second Age. What? What happens in the Second Age? Uh, a lot of the stuff from... I almost said the Iliad, but that is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the Iliad. Um, the Cimmerillion. Oh, okay. Yeah, so a lot of that stuff, like... I have the Cimmerillion somewhere. 
I don't know where it's at. I was gonna like, like when F Glorfindel. I didn't make that up. That's actually a name. Yeah, it sounds like a made up elf name, but that's like the I. Okay, I feel like that's wrong because remember how we thought it was Celebrimbor. It was actually like Celebrimbor. Yeah, that's Celebrimbor, and I only found that out from uh, the Lord of the Rings, the one. The Shadow of War and Shadow of Mordor. It's like, Elf! Celebrimbo! Celebrimbo! We're gonna go in with. Actually, he calls him Wraith for like the first. Seriously, the first two thirds of that game, you know his name and you call him Wraith. 0. 0.05 for the guns? You know, it'd be kind of cute on her. What? Buck teeth. Not like buck teeth, but like that tooth gap. You probably won't do that, that's okay, but. Like that Kate Moss tooth gap. I get ya. Or some, and some people it's adorable, and some people are like, go get that fixed. I'm just kidding. Jeez. <laughs> That's like the meanest thing. Yeah. Alrighty! Actually, I kind of want to go in and do the tongue as well. Well, did you want to kick it in the time lapse? Uh, no. Oh. Well, we could. Let's say. We'll it, kick it into time lapse to finish up. Her face. The facial details, even though there's not that many left. We'll do the eye patch and the scar and the inner parts of the ear. And then when we come back. And maybe I'll do like the clavicle and the boobs. He comes back, we'll, he'll work on them horns and them ears. Come back, I'll show how to do the hair. Or a little bit more on the hair and the horns. Alright. We're kicking it time kicking lapse. Right, right, right now. now. Whoa, look at that time lapse. Whoa. Back from time lapse. Whoa, that was crazy. That was insane. In the membrane. In the got no brain. In the membrane. All right, we actually are pretty close to being done inking this. Synonyms, crazy in the skin. Next, I'm going to ink the horns, and I kind of go crazy with horns when I ink them. Or at least horns like this, because I kind of made them... I don't know, you can't really tell. They're jaggedy. I'm super jaggedy, yeah. So, that should be fun. So I'm going to go in and kind of be like, You buck right, eh? He's insane. Kind of want to... My girl says insane in the membrane, but then it's talking about the brain, not the skin. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot to ink her scar. Poopy poop poop. We'll do that too. Yeah. Alright, so... We're going to go back into time lapse... But just For a little bit to, at the end, the yeah, very end. Just wanted to show you the horns because he's super excited about it, and how he starts the hair, and then yeah, we're gonna go because the hair is nowhere near done. We're gonna go in, and with the horns, I always do super, super jagged or heavy lines, <laughs> super varied line weights as well. And these time lapses will not have any dubbing, just FYI. There's gonna be like slapped on there. Yeah, it'll just be in the video. Yeah, we won't be like, and right here, I stuck a thumb in my butt. We could do a little jigamahooger. A <laughs> jigamahooger. During the time last be like, do ba da do da do da do ba da do da do da do da do do. We're not good at scatting, are we? Uh, no, we're not good at. Is crossing your legs known as a feminine thing? What do you mean? Like when people cross, like I, like I cross my legs to sit all the time. Okay, so first of all, just for the record, I don't give a flying fuck. But no, I heard in a song that it's like I'm so masculine I don't cross my legs when I sit down. Well, that's fucking stupid. It it was a it was a parody song, but no, I know, but I'm saying I can't really show you now. I know what you mean, but but I was told if you cross at the knee, 
Yes. Women cross at the knee and men cross at the ankle. But I think part of that is because it's really fucking uncomfortable to, to squish your nuts between your yeah, thighs. Because if you cross at the knee as a dude, you squish your fucking nutsack. So unless you're good at tucking. Obviously, that's not a problem if you are a whammon. Whammon? A whammon. Did you hear that they're dropping wolves into Colorado to, like, because apparently moose have become, like, a obnoxious species right now? I did hear that. And they're airdropping Canadian wolves into Colorado. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Can you just imagine, like, a pack of wolves in, like, a flight pattern? <laughs> just throw them out in, like, synchronized throws? Yeah, and watch them become, like, a problem. Oh, they will. Look at what happened to the wolves here in Eastern Oregon. Everyone's shitting their pants about. Yeah, quit being lazy and just go out and fucking shoot the moose from helicopters. So as you can see, I kind of go crazy on the horns with the line weights. I like it. They kind of look, uh, they kind of remind me of like energy beams from like Legend of Korra. Yeah. Like the way the spirits looked. There's no real rhyme or reason to these lines I'm doing. I kind of just like to bury the line weights and make jagged corners. Um, I like to... I don't know how to explain it. I like to do sort of this thing where I taper the line in, as you can see right here, or right there. I taper in and then come out really thick, come out of it really thick. And then taper it again, kind of like zigzag, jagged lines. Yeah, it looks... For this kind of horns, not always. I don't always do this. dope. For, I don't always do this for horns. Are right, these going to have uh, sec segments or no? Uh, Are this going to be smoothies? I might put segments in. Or I'll just make it so they're kind of like rocky. But doesn't this get to be a... Are we going to see this drawing again in the future? Oh, we sure are, because I'm going to use this drawing for a coloring tutorial. Yeah, so if it looks different next time you see it from the finished product, don't get butthurt about it. Yes. What? I don't know. Like, what if you like see something like, I really want to change that, but that would have been uh, yeah, my yeah. inking can tutorial, and I'm just going to change it. Um, I might. I highly doubt it, but I might add something. Do you consider your drawings 100% done when you sign them? Or do you fix shit after you sign it all the time? Um, this happens. Hap it happens. I try not to make it a habit, but it happens to me, unfortunately, a lot. Well, I don't, well, I don't know why it would, I don't know why it matters, like... I don't know, because people say when you say it, you're done! Sorry, I'm getting tired. What, it's like taking your finger off a chess piece? Yeah. I don't know. I've never heard that before. I guess if you want to make, well, you know, the, the like, rule you kind of make up in chess or checkers where it's like, oh, move doesn't count. Didn't take my finger off. I mean, Like, I if you fuck up, like, if you make a shitty move. You, I think you played chess with shitty people, Justin. I'm pretty sure that's a rule. Like it that. probably is, but I'm not, I don't even know how to play chess. Used to. I know, the pawns always go first in chest. Well, chest. knowing how the pieces move and knowing how to play chess are very different things. Because you can know the basics of chess and just still have no idea how to play chess. I'm sorry that we're, I'm not really talking about what I'm doing, but like as I said earlier, there's no real rhyme or reason to how I'm doing these lines. It's just kind of fucking random, I guess. I just like right. to go. Oh. I just like to go kind of crazy the with horns like this. The chest. Not always, like I said. I have. You like my Ian McKellen impression. I do. It was great. Was, it was it? awesome. It was. Okay. I do all sorts of different types of horns. Bilbo Baggins. All right. So next, we're gonna do the hair. A little bit of it. Do not take me for a conjurer of cheap trips. That wasn't as good. Okay, so. As you can see, she's kind of got her hair tucked behind her ears. Yeah. And what I like to yes, do with... 
Okay, and what I like to do, if I can find my sketchy pad, Derek put it there for some reason. Just mm -hmm. a sec. Yeah. So I'm with sorry. hair. So with hair for like where hair is uh, bunched up, like it is behind the ears, you can see, or or if it's going into a braid, I guess. I like to do this thing here. Let me just doodle a quick ear. Let me doodle. Got an ear. I'm still mad that we couldn't be the doodling dudes. The doodling dudes. Yeah. Kudos to them for getting such a dope name. It's just so similar to the doodle dudes. The doodle dudes, and I was already taken. I know, that's what I'm saying. Kudos to them for having a dope name. Okay, so we're gonna do like with her, like the demon lady we're just drawing on. I'm gonna have hair bunched behind an ear. Here. So I kinda like to have these lines like fanning out. Impressions in the hair. Yes. Like when you tuck your hair behind your ears, like right now. Yes. And you look like a gym teacher. Yes. I like to have the hair kind of like, not really exactly fanning out, but kind of like softly fanning out. And then I softly. like to web, like webbing, I keep saying it, web the hair around the ears like I this. don't see why you're questioning it. I think webbing sounds fine. Does it? Yeah. I completely understand what you mean when you, as you say it, and you're doing it at the same time. Okay. I'm not confused. I'm so not I like, like that. I like to do things like that with where hair's bunched up. That would apply to braids too, mm -hmm. or if your hair is bunt like pulled together and tied um, in a like a some sort of hair tie, or if some or if you're drawing something where somebody is like grabbing a fistful of hair, like if somebody's like I don't know pulling their hair out like because they're crazy, or if they're just I don't know. Maybe they're maybe they're like holding onto a horse mane, like riding a horse, like bareback, and they or have just beating horse the fuck mane out of somebody. Or yeah, just beating the shit out, like dragging somebody by their hair. That too, um, or holding a decapitated head. I drew that recently in a drawing, semi recently. So yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not like sitting here when you say webbing, thinking like there ain't no spider webs on that there hair. That's, I'm not thinking that at all. I'm like, okay, he's like webbing it with like a curvature. Yeah. I'm not sitting there like, there ain't no gosh darn spider web. What you talking about, boy? What's this crazy skinny artist talking about? What are you doing, webbing? you dumb bitch? Let's take it way too far. I was going to say, Jesus. We're going to do that again with the .5. I like to use the .05 for hair strands. And some artists do this, but I don't. Some artists will go in and do every single individual strand of hair, go super detailed with the hair. Kind of like you would do in a, like a portrait, like realistically. Um, Justin doesn't do that in his anime drawings because you don't need but to. But what I do is I suggest that there's hair there. So I guess you could say it's lazy. I don't want to say it's lazy. I thought you were going to say it's lit, and I'm like, it yes, is, Justin. Dude, I guess you could say it's lit. It's so lit right now. But you sort of suggest... Lit the AF, fam. You sort of suggest... Alright, I get it. I'll shut up. Jesus. I'm trying to... Say the thingy. <laughs> you suggest strands of hair. Yeah, I baby barfed. You don't draw it out. Justin, do you think Bran is the Night King? No. I, I do. I have no fucking idea. Are you excited for Game of Thrones final season? Sure. You're not even going to watch it, are you? I will. When it comes out on DVD. I've right. watched it to this point. Like, I'm all caught up, so I might as well finish it. It's kind of stupid to stop on the last season. So I want to talk more about this idea of suggesting things in art. So, another good example. So as you can see here, I'm sort of suggesting that the, there's hair strands. I'm not going in, and I'm not drawing every last, last little uh, hair follicle, but you can kind of tell that this is hair because I've sort of just like, I haven't drawn, I don't even connect it all the way up. I just like taper off the line and I do just enough and in just such a way that it sort of is like, okay, that's hair, right? And you can do the same thing. No, I totally think it's flesh. <sighs> 
And I do the same thing here with the eyelid. You can see that, I'm going to try and get closer to the camera. You can see with the eyelid, see where it sort of, where I sort of just didn't finish the line? Yeah. And then did it a little bit at the other end? Yeah. You're suggesting... That the line goes all the way across. Yes, without actually drawing the line across. Which is like the same thing that same goes thing on. Same thing with the nose, which right? Al also the same thing as your uh, light source sphericals. Yeah, you suggest things. So you sort of, you sort of, I wouldn't say trick the brain, but you sort of like... Manipulate. Man you sort of draw it in such a way that you can sort of, people fill in the gaps. So the same thing with the nose. I didn't draw the entire nose bridge. I haven't even like... Basically, for this underside of the nose, I use the like reflective dark edge that light would cast as a way of suggesting that there's a nose. I didn't even draw the edge of the nose, if you can see that. And I did it a little bit with the cleavage here, too. Sort of. Not as much, but I do it a lot. And with the clavicles here. Wow, I actually do it a lot here. <laughs> the clavicles. See, I, like you don't even have to draw the whole line. You just break it off right in the middle. You do it a lot in your drawings. Yeah, I do. I did it here with the knife, too. With the part where the blade, where it tapers into the blade from the main part of the blade. If I say the blade one more time, I'm going to slap myself. But they're going to see the blood groove. But as you can doesn't have one of those. As you can see, didn't finish the line there either. It breaks off. You're suggesting that that line goes all the way across. Oh, I'm sorry, did blood groove make you uncomfortable? No, I think that's like proper terminology. Another good way to use it, which I'll show right now, is teeth. So I'm going to draw a quick mouth, like a smiling mouth. Mm, mouth. Make sure you guys can see it. They can see it, Justin. I, fuck off. Oh. Ah. Do you know the way? No. <laughs> brought back that shit from 2018. You're not bringing it back. No one will ever bring it back. Do you know the way? It's cursed. <laughs> <coughs> Why is he from Uganda? So I'm actually doing it with the mouth too. See, I'm not finishing the lower lip. You could. You see this a lot in like anime type shit. Not only anime in recent years especially, but most part anime kind of originated there. I'm not finishing the lower lip, right? I'm just breaking it. Just, But it suggests, I've done just enough, hopefully, to suggest that there's a lower lip there. And I'm about to do the same with the teeth. So, it looks kind of creepy. I'm going to draw a second mouth. That's kind of the same. Are you going to draw that one little tooth thing? Yes, but I'm also going to show how it kind of looks weird if you draw every single individual tooth. That even looks weird in realism. Yeah, or it can, if you don't do it right. Or I'm maybe your model sure. just has weird okay, teeth. Okay, so, on this lower one, I'm going to suggest... Actually, first I'm going to do the fucking... That's like one of those do-don'ts. We're going to go in... Even though I hate those. We're going to go in and... We're going to draw every individual tooth. Okay, so we've got where the upper row of teeth meets with the lower row. Am I going with the 0.05? I'm going to fucking do all these teeth. And as I'm doing it, I'm realizing it doesn't really look all that terrible. No, it looks... Well, if that's not your style, and if that's not the angle of the drawing, it is so, look weird. So that, so that doesn't really look bad. Um, so that's one way you could do it. You go in and like enunciate. Well, kind of flipped everybody off. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, you can enunciate all the teeth, or you can suggest that there's teeth. You can literally do that with two lines. One way is you can do. You come in on the side of the mouth, and you sort of. Draw this kind of shape. So on the corner of the mouth. I'll have a zoomed in view of the corner of the mouth. Right? You do this sort of shape. You come in. What are you doing? 
part of the mouth, you come in and then come back out to suggest that's where the teeth meet, right? I see what you, I know what you're talking about. I know you're not talking to me though. I'm not sure if you want to fucking you want to listen. So we're gonna do that down here. We've done that down here, and also I didn't really do it up here, so it's not really correct. But I'm gonna sort of suggest suggest a canine like that. Suggested a canine, and then I'm going to continue the line and then stop. So and I'm going continue to and let's stop. And then I'll do a little bit of something over here. I'm not explaining it. Just darken the corner of the mouth, and then that's it. That's all I'm going to do. You can also help by like doing some gums. So I'm going to come in here at the top and uh, draw the gums a little bit. So. You can see... That's a seductive-ass mouth. Yeah, that's seductive versus creepy. <laughs> you could just do... You can suggest... You can either draw out all the teeth individually, which actually looks not half bad, or you can just use those few shapes, those few lines. You don't even have to do that much. You don't even have to put in canines. You don't even have to put in lines at all, but I do. I like to. Um, so, yeah, that's... You suggest that there's... A full mouth of teeth in that mouth. Just like by doing, mouth. just leaving little hints. Like mm. I didn't even, I didn't even finish the lower lip. As you can see, I do a little bit of that with her. It's different because her mouth's open, but you can see I put gums. She's showing us the way to her guts. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, where she has her upper lip sort of snarled up, so the knife doesn't touch it. You can see her gums and lower down. You can see her gums as well. Because the lower jaw is more down, I guess. At a more downward angle. So, yeah. That was a little bit more of a tangent than I wanted to go off on. But here we are. Got into the little bit of the power of suggestion. And actually, actually in the coloring tutorial and the shading tutorial, um, the power of suggestion, as I'm going to start calling it, will actually come into play as well. Did you want to kick in the time lapse though to get that hair done? Yeah, we'll kick it in the time lapse for the last, for me getting the hair did. And then we'll come back for the last little bit of our shit. Something else I'm going to do, you know, I, you would only, I only really do this when I'm coloring something, when I plan to color something. I erase after the ink's dry. Mm. I want to wait till the ink's dry. I go back in and I erase all the pencil out from underneath it. So that, you'll see me do that uh, at the end as well. Yeah. So we're going to kick in the time lapse. I'm going to finish the hair, which is pretty much all we have left to do for inking, inking wise. And then we'll come back. Oh, I have to finish the scar too. I don't know if you can really tell, but the scar comes out from underneath her eye patch. So yeah. we'll just do that real quick. We can do that live. We'll do that in real time. Say live one more time. Live. Fucking you in the butt. Gross. Teenage right. me and Ninja Turtles. There we go. Scar done. I like scars. Because I'm, I guess, a freak. Alright, so. We're going to kick it in time lapse, like I said. We're going to finish the hair. I'm going to race. And then we'll be back for some final words. And we'll do a small review of what we went over, even though I don't even remember all the shit I've said. All right, time lapse. Oh God! Gucci. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh shit! That was insane. All right, guys, we inked it. We together uh, as you, one. Us, huh? Jordan Peele's us. Now huh? in theaters. I like it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can never tell if I'm gonna like an ink job until I've that erased. Sounds. Until I've erased the pencil. Filthy. I, I like to call this the coloring book stage. 
I understand why. It's like a fucking coloring book. Yeah. You should illustrate a coloring book. I, yeah, a fucking sexy demon girl coloring book. I bet that shit would sell like hotcakes. Like your well, thick I would, hot cakes. I would definitely enjoy doing it. All right, baby. Publishing companies, get a hold of him at jgeorgedraws on Instagram. Link in description. Uh, God, you fuck. We need a new piece of tape. I, I'll just hold it. I'm going to get a rubber piece All of right. tape. All right. That's so good. Bye, baby zoos. Oh, we, we're buying? Oh, well, what else do we have to do? Um, well, I'm, as we've already said, I'm going to color this shit mm -hmm. for a tutorial. Mm -hmm. I have another demon girl that I drew that I'm do. going to show, I think I want to try to show how I do pencil, like, line art, like, actual contour lines, and then I'm going to crosshatch it, like, shade it with crosshatching. So everyone's always like, please show me how you crosshatch. Show me some pie. So, we'll do that as well. This one's going to be colored. I don't know what the color i think okay so the coloring and shading kind of go hand in hand i'm not gonna get too far into it because we're gonna do a tutorial about it but um so the coloring and shading might be kind of like one mixed tutorial sort of one co-mingled tutorial yeah i wanted to do an inking tutorial and hopefully you guys enjoyed it that's the result of our inking efforts yeah it looks good she looks she's hot so she's gonna fucking murder somebody which so she is in my head, so canonically. It's me. She's killing me. Okay, so... I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm hoping for... I, I don't know why. I feel like this should be a blue skin girl. Uh, With some reddish maroon horns. Prove me wrong. Possibly. I'm feeling blue skin. Possibly. Blue skin, pink scar, reddish horns. Light. Make it happen. I might do light blue skin. <clears throat> I don't really want to do dark blue, knobby skin. No, not knobby skin. Like Just, just like... Light dead, blue. Like, like dead blue. Okay. Yeah. We'll ah. try and arrange that. Cool. I do that a lot, actually. All right. Well, babies, that was like our first tutorial. Hopefully, you guys learned something from it. Uh, I sure did. Thanks. You don't ink anything ever, almost. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> Hi. Bye, we'll see you later. See you in the next episode Bye. of DJ Show. Doop-a-da, doop-a-da.